welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to install Salesforce a CLI. All right. First up, go ahead and open up your browser. Now in here in the new tab, just type in Salesforce CLI. Once done, just hit on enter. As you can see here in the first search result, which is from developer.salesforce.com, just go ahead and click on it and wait for the website to load. Now, once it loads, as you can see, it is available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. And as you can see here, I'm currently using Windows. I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version, which is mine as X64. All right, I'm going to click on it and wait for a download page to pop up. As you can see, I'm just going to save it on my desktop so I can easily locate it later. And if the installation is done, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. All right, I'm going to hit on save. As you can see here, here's the download progress. Just going to wait for it as it won't take long. All right, as you can see here, three seconds left, one and a zero. It's done. So what we're going to do next is just click on it and wait for the installer to pop up. As you can see here, my screen right there might uh, turn black as there will be a pop up. Just click on yes. OK, now in here, make sure that uh, you enable all. Once done, just go ahead and tap on next. Remember this. All right. The destination file or the installed files will be saved on C program files. SF. All right, hit on install as we are going to be needing that later. All right. As you can see here, it's almost done. It may seem stuck. Just wait for it to finish. All right. Until you see the close button pop up. All right. As you can see here, it says completed. Just go ahead and close it. And after that, we're going to test if it's working now. So just go ahead and open up your command prompt right here. Now type in SF, hit enter, and wait for it to process. As you can see here, we'll be able to find these commands right here. That means that it is working. Now, if you're seeing errors while you type SF, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that. All right. Basically, go to your search bar again. Now type in environment variables. Again, environment variables, you can hit on enter. Now, this page will pop up. Just go ahead and uh, go to environment variables right here under advanced. All right. Click on it. Now, under system variables, go ahead and uh, locate path. Now, make sure that path is highlighted. Then go ahead and hit on edit. Now, click on new right here. Now, locate the CLI's path right here. As you, as you might remember, it was on C, program files, then SF right here. I'm going to double click on it and go to bin. Here's the directory. I'm just going to click on the uh, directory box, then right click and hit on copy. Now I'm going to go back to environment variables, hit on new, put that in here and hit on OK. OK, OK, close this one. And again, rerun CMD, type in SF, double enter, and there you have it. Well, that's basically how you install Salesforce CLI.